Hey there everyone, welcome to Violet's Dream Tarot. So today is going to be the October Love Predictions reading. If you haven't seen the general predictions reading for October, that was the latest video that I released before this one, so there will be a link in the description box for people who haven't seen that yet but want to watch it, um, because these two videos go quite well together. If you're new to the channel, welcome, get comfortable. I hope you enjoy this and I would love it if you would consider subscribing. So today we've got a lot to get through because we are not just doing a pick a card, for the love predictions every month we also do a pick a gnome so it's kind of like a layered reading it makes it a little bit more um individual to you so the gnomes will give you your channeled messages and a few extra cards and then the main reading is going to be um whichever pile you pick so i would say to watch this thing first and then you can pick one or two gnomes after that as you can see i've put spell cards on each pile as well and i am going to be shuffling um on camera the spells were really popular in the last video so I thought I'd get some more out but each of the spells that I've put on today they look the same from the back because they are all love spells so I'll be reading those out to you um, when we start each reading. also want to say a big big thank you to everyone who's supported the channel through donations especially people who've sent decks that's really really lovely of you and thank you to all of my patrons including Alex, Alexandra, Kat, Ashley, Jeanette and Kelly. Thank you so much for your support. It really does mean the world to me. So let's take a look at the piles. Just think in your mind as I'm showing you the spell cards, what's coming up for me in love in October or what's next for me in love in October. So pile one, I mean, they all look the same, but I thought I'd just show you them anyway. It says in matters of love, spells for bewitching and keeping the lover of your choice. And pile one will be using the sun and moon tarot deck. Then pile two, I just lift it up again to show you. Pile two will be using the Ramses Tarot of Eternity, kind of ancient Egyptian tarot. And pile three, pile three will be using the Deviant Moon Tarot deck. So whichever pile or piles you're feeling the most drawn to intuitively will be the right pile for you. I would say to go where you're feeling most intuitively drawn, not just the tarot deck that you personally prefer or that you like the look of the most from the piles, because if you go by where you're feeling pulled to, then that will give you um, likely the most accurate reading. If you're feeling drawn to more than one pile, then it's likely that you will um, kind of resonate with half of each pile, half of each reading, but not all of it. And that's fine as well, because this is just a general reading on YouTube. It's not a private reading. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. When you've chosen your pile, you can also choose a gnome. So Gizmond is gnome A. He's got like a fluffy hat. And Gunfald is gnome B. He also has a fluffy hat, but a different color. Then Gaia is Gnome C, his hat is knitted and a little bit smaller. And Gjord is Gnome D and he's very similar to Gaia. So whichever pile you feel most drawn to, I'm going to start with those first. And then when you've finished watching the pile, you can either come back and choose a gnome or you can just skip ahead to the gnome that you chose, depending on whether or not you remember which one you picked. So I'm going to start now with pile number one. So hello, if you chose pile one, then this is the spell that I'm going to read out for you first, and then we're going to get into your reading. As you can see, I'm shuffling on camera today. I've got plenty of oracle cards and make sure you stick around as well because we do charms and dice once we've done the cards on this channel. So you will get more of a full reading from those. So make sure you stay and get your entire reading. So your spell that you may or may not want to cast. I just found that a lot of people were commenting and saying in the last video that they really liked these. It's called Perfect Jewel. So it says, on a Friday, the day of Venus, and with a waxing moon, dedicate a talisman to keep love with you. So the ingredients that you'll need for this are a gemstone or crystal and a metal of your choice, a petal from a pink rose or carnation flower. So then it says the following list may help you with your choice of metals and stones. So there's just a list there of what metals, planets and colours correspond to each day of the week. 
and it says once you've chosen the appropriate components of your love jewel, wait until a Friday during a waxing moon, preferably during the month of your birth, and charge your petal with the moon's blessing. Do this by holding it in your outstretched palms and in your mind, bringing the moon's rays down until they engulf your hands in love. When your jewel is made, the petal should be folded in place between the stone and the metal to afford extra power to the talisman. Wear the jewel at all times. So that is like a talisman to bring love towards you or to keep loving energy in your life. So some of you may want to cast that spell. Just pop that up there. So let's see what's coming towards you in love in October, group one. Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands there, Swiftness, Five of Cups, Disappointment, and Ten of Swords, Ruin. So I definitely see that a lot of you are already feeling quite negative about love. Maybe some of you have just gone through a breakup or are getting close to that kind of energy in your relationship, worried that your relationship is on the rocks. Maybe some of you are just kind of getting close to giving up on love entirely because you feel as though there's no point because you can't meet anyone right now or you feel like just no one is going to come towards you who is right for you and then we've got the chariot as well so cancer energy there I just wanted to get another tarot card because I felt like I wasn't getting the full story um, from those three cards. The Eight of Wands indicates to me that something happens quite unexpectedly for you or it's just happened already in September or possibly the month beforehand that there has been like a sudden change in your love life or just in your energies um, about love. And then of course we've got these two cards here about endings and disappointments. I feel like a lot of you are worried that you're going to have to break up with someone or that you're being broken up with or you have had that already and now you're just feeling a bit low about the whole thing. As I said, it feels like some of you who aren't in relationships are getting close to the idea of giving up on love. And I don't want any of you to reach that point because it's just that point of, you know, complete abandonment that I get from this. Like you just want to walk away from the situation. But the chariot is good. The chariot indicates that you kind of put some motivation or some willpower into the situation because you're determined to turn this around for yourself. You're determined that you're not going to be this person who's like laying on the floor defeated. You're determined to get up and try again, pick yourself up, dust yourself off and get back in the chariot, back on the horse, so to speak. Then we've got love is all around you, number 16. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. That's a nice card. And I wonder if that means that some of you are starting to realise that people in general care about you more than you realised or that you have actually a lot more support around you than you maybe had realised beforehand. And then we've got number five, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So it does feel as though there is like a strong energy of doing good things for other people or being taken care of by someone in this month to show that they care about you. Soulmate. Okay, some of you dealing with a soulmate or trying to manifest a soulmate and you're just getting to the point where you think they're never going to come because I'm just not seeing this person. Then we've got the Midas Touch, which is the Justice card. Okay, so it feels kind of almost like what you put out is what you get back in this month. That's also Libra energy coming in now. Kind of feel like there's a balancing of karma in this month. So if some of you have been treated badly by someone in the past. Um, I feel like you are starting to get a more balanced energy from that relationship. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. That's interesting because of the simple acts of kindness card. I wonder if some of you are aware of a friend that has been going through a breakup or a difficult experience and you're just determined to, you know, take care of them or you know that 
even if you don't feel great, you can try and make someone else feel better. And that is also about the justice card. You know, what you do will come back to you. Hummingbird spirit, number 34, be here now. Definitely a lot of you trying to live in the moment. I kind of get that from the simple acts of kindness card as well, that things are just being done slowly, slow energy here, not thinking too far into the future, I think. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So some of you are picking yourself up after a breakup and and extending that energy towards other people, maybe talking to other people casually, maybe trying to actually physically get out and see if you can meet any new people. You know, as I said, determined not to be this person forever. Or maybe some of you have taken a break from dating because you just felt like you were going nowhere and then you decide to re-enter that in this month. Okay, we've got number 21, Field of Dreams there, and 28, Movement, so both of those are good. Also the Movement card, very similar to the Eight of Wands, kind of both of them are actually quite similar to that, because they both, that card carries the energy of movement and of manifestation, and these are both a little bit similar to that. Movement says that you are going to see some positive forward progress in this month, and Field of Dreams says that you are able to sow the seeds of what you want in your life. You're able to sow the seeds of what it is that you want to manifest. Abundantia, prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. It does seem like some of you are going to get this gift or this surprise in this month that you weren't expecting. Yeah, Oyster. Definitely some of you have felt not open to receiving recently and now you're learning to open up a bit more. I am going to read a couple of guidebooks just towards the end. Number 17, Ahnen Problem, Generational Problem. And that's a subconscious issue affecting your love life in October. Just get one more card. Happy, happy. That's nice. Number 26. Okay, so with generational problem, it feels as though you are repeating patterns that your parents or grandparents or other family members have experienced with regards to romantic relationships. And actually, it's up to you in this lifetime to break this pattern, whatever that may be, might be unhealthy relationships, it might be an unhealthy balance in the relationship with regards to power etc. Um, it could be like repeated failed relationships, abusive relationships, those kinds of things, codependency, unhealthy attachments, but it feels as though it is up to you in this lifetime. It's part of your mission in this lifetime to break this family pattern when it comes to relationships. So let me just quickly read the Field of Dreams card because I've already explained the movement card, but I think this one's better if it's read out. This says your thoughts, feelings and beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential. This is the perfect time to harness the field of vast potential not yet realised in your life. Great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener. Be clear about your thoughts, feelings and beliefs. Concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world. You have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful, for your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to a great harvest to be shared with others. You will reap what you have sown. Dream big, dream beautiful, take action and tend to the garden of your life. So I like that. Again, it's all about mindset and it's about what you expect. But I feel like a lot of you are very resilient people anyway. I feel as though you are able to bounce back from being disappointed, being let down a lot more than other people can. Because the fact that you seem to go from the Ten of Swords to the Chariot just in one 
leap is quite astounding. So I feel like you should be proud of yourselves for that. Everyone has moments where they waver or where they start to doubt themselves. But I feel like you are trying to really keep your mind focused on the positives and on what you're wanting to bring in rather than what you're hoping won't happen. Because obviously a lot of you really clued up on the law of attraction and you know that when you focus on what you don't want to happen or what you don't want to bring towards you, then that's what gets attracted to you because what we focus on is what we get more of. But definitely you seem to be trying to just enjoy the moment in this month. Maybe it's a case of lowering expectations and just not putting any expectations out there. You know, you're not saying, okay, I want this person to come in or I want a certain person or I, I want a person at all. You know, it's like you're just open to what what is being given to you. So oyster card as well, patient, secret keeper, hiding inner treasures. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it that you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. Okay, so when this person's in balance, they feel blessed, generous, and masterful. When out of balance, they feel reluctant, gripping, and they clam up. And to bring themselves back into balance, they need to share something. Okay, so maybe that was to do with the simple acts of kindness and love is all around you, like sharing experiences with others, sharing support with others, helping you to open up a little bit more. But I definitely do get this energy of something coming towards you just when you were about to give up or just when you'd completely surrendered and given up. You get some fresh new energy into your life. And also you're trying to make other people happy in this month. You're trying to lift up the spirits of other people that you care about who are equally not having the best time of it. And that might not be related to love. You know, some people might be having financial problems or they might just be feeling a little bit low or a little bit under the weather and you're just trying to lift their spirits a little bit and that is going to be repaid back to you is just what I'm seeing from these cards. So I'm going to do your charms and dice now group one. So if you don't like the sound of the charms being shuffled or if you've got headphones on or you're listening with the volume turned up loud you might just want to turn it down while I shuffle these because they can be a little bit loud when I do that. So group one, love life in October. Okay, you've actually got quite a lot of charms today, but these fell out while I was shuffling, these ones down here. So you've got a guardian angel watching over your situation. You've also got the notification bell, and that makes me feel as though someone in your life or just something like spirit has been trying to get your attention for a while. So maybe that's related to like red flags or someone who has liked you for a while but hasn't been able to say. There's the travel and adventure charm there. So maybe some of you planning to travel or just get a change of scenery. And we've got the word dream as well that popped out while I was shuffling. So let's see what else we've got. We've got a starfish, that's a healing symbol. And the resilience, yeah, the lobster, being able to overcome any, any difficult experience, any difficult situation. We've got cancer again, so that is a strong sign for some of you in your charts because cancer came out also with the chariot there. Um, cancer also talks about emotional sensitivity so just be aware make sure that you're not snapping at people when they don't deserve that in this month or that you're not kind of getting overly emotional about something that you have allowed to build up and build up and not really dealt with we've got the movie camera there that's about things happening behind the scenes and you're just not aware of that coming towards you yet so there is something some kind of new circumstance or experience that's being worked out for you behind the scenes and it's just not appeared in your life just yet but it will do soon the star that's another healing symbol but it's about having faith being optimistic knowing that you're on the right path and you're being guided you've got lady aphrodite 
or Venus. That's her calling card there, that little shell. So she wants to help you in this month. You might want to work with her um, in whatever way you feel comfortable with. Got the dog raising his paw there. That makes me think about wanting something or someone wanting something from you. So someone may express to you in this month that they actually like you or that they would like to spend more time with you. Um, it's kind of what I'm feeling. And then this cat is my symbol for Africa. So there are some connections to Africa for some of you. Maybe you are dating someone um, who has roots in Africa. Maybe you're planning to travel to Africa or you're from there. Um, there is just like that connection to Africa. I'm not sure if I'm seeing any other countries popping up here. They might do with the dice. We've got the winter symbol as well. So you're not you're only planning as far ahead as winter is what I can tell because that's on the be here now card. Obviously October is autumn, but I feel as though the furthest that you're prepared to think ahead to is winter. You're just taking things one step at a time because you want that secure grounded feeling in your life. There's also the black obsidian ball that says that you will eventually understand everything, but right now you don't see the full picture, you don't have the full truth revealed to you just yet. So kind of similar to this charm where I was saying that something is happening and you're just not aware that it's coming towards you or you're just not aware that it is meant for you just yet. Some of you are brooding about having to change your long-term plans. Maybe some of you were planning to have children or to marry a particular person that you were with or you were hoping to have done that by a certain age and now you're thinking, well, I've got to that age and I haven't got married yet or I don't have a child or you've broken up with the person that you thought you would be able to share that with and now you're thinking well what do I want what am I going to choose to do in the future the key there is telling me that you will resolve this you will find some solution to what you're worried about and someone is definitely attracted to you in this month or you're attracted to someone else because we've got that perfume bottle and your spirit guides are very involved in this as well as spirit guides are trying to give you some guidance or some hints creativity music is important I feel like it's saying listen to music that builds you up rather than allowing you to wallow in that five of cups energy listen to music that keeps you in the happy happy energy that empowers you and makes you feel excited rather than keeping you wallowing in this kind of energy. And we have got that worry thread there as well and also a good luck charm. Dragonflies are good luck. They're also a symbol of fire elementals and the fairy kingdom as well. So those are little hints to look out for as well in this month. Let's get your dice group on. Oh, interesting. So we're rolling the first set of dice in your group one. So that's the fantasy dice. These ones. And we're rolling two of them for you today. So not an awful lot. But I don't want to roll a lot of dice if they're not going to have a message for you because that would just be confusing. Okay, so you've got the beer mug there, which makes me think about socialising with people, um, kind of to lift your spirits and kind of also just to have that lighthearted energy back in your life again, because I think some of you have been through the grieving, you've been through the low mood, the breakup, etc. And you just want to get back on the horse again, or you just want to see your friends and have a laugh and not think about that experience or not think about what am I going to do in the future? You just want that lighthearted being in the moment energy. And you have Mount Olympus as well, which indicates that a lot of deities, especially Greek deities, are watching over you in this month. So that's your main reading. So now you can go and jump to whichever gnome you chose, or if you haven't picked one already, just go back to the start of the video and choose a gnome. They're going to give you your channeled messages and a few extra cards just to make it a little bit more um, individual for you. But I really hope you enjoyed this group one. I'd love it if you would give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now I'm going to go over to group two, especially as well. Leave me a comment below because I love hearing how everything resonates with all of you. And I do try to reply to all of your comments, so I'll be looking out for those. But I'm going to get started with group two now. So you just go and pick whichever gnome or gnomes you feel drawn to. 
Hi there, group two. If you chose the Ramses Tarot of Eternity, then this is your reading. So let's just first look at the spell that you got on your pile, and then I'll be shuffling the tarot cards. We've got a ton of oracle cards as well to include. And if you're new to the channel, please stick around and get your full reading because when we've done all the cards, we also put charms and dice on top on this channel. So you'll get a very full reading. So just make sure you stay and get all of that. So let's see what your spell is about. Okay, so it's called Sky Magic, and it says this spell can help free you from the hurt inflicted by a cruel or unfaithful partner. So the ingredients that you need are two yellow candles, rose oil and an oil burner, yellow paper, pen and red ink. Perform this spell on a windy day under a waning moon and choose a time when you will not be disturbed. Light the candles and burn a little bit of the rose oil to create a stress-free atmosphere. Cut the yellow paper into five equal pieces, about three inches or 7.5 centimeters by one inch or 2.5 centimeters. Using red ink or a red pen, write a description of the hurt inflicted upon you by over four of the pieces of paper, making sure you write something on each of them. On the fifth, write your hopes for future happiness. Take your messages to a hilltop, a high rise building or an open beach. Feeling the power of the wind and with your eyes closed, turn three times anti-clockwise, releasing each, releasing each of the first four pieces of paper in turn. Hold the last one between the palms of your hands and turn three times clockwise. Watch as your hopes for the future are released with the last piece of paper and become part of you. So I think that's a really cute spell. Some of you may want to do that, may want to cast that spell. So let's look at the cards and see what they can tell us. So group two, love life in October. Okay. Okay, we've got plenty of tarot cards that have jumped out for us now. So let's see which ones we've got. We have got the Page of Cups, it's always a nice start. Two of Cups as well, that's quite nice. So Page of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Wands, Page of Wands, The Devil, and Five of Cups. Interesting, these cards seem to kind of go in pairs. So firstly, if I just look at the devil and the five of cups, it feels like some of you have really been let down by someone that you kind of idolized in the past or someone that you hoped would turn out to be better than they actually were. And I wonder if that's why you chose this pile with the spell that ended up coming out for that pile, because I feel like someone has treated you badly or has been quite neglectful of you or you've been in a connection with someone who just couldn't give you what you wanted and it turned into quite a toxic connection. So I feel like some of you are overcoming the disappointment caused by that experience and kind of the sense of loss that comes with even leaving a toxic relationship. There's often that sense of loss or, you know, endings that are difficult to deal with. But then I also feel as though you're entering a much happier period of your life because Page of Cups and Two of Cups indicates that there is fresh new love coming for you. And also Three of Wands and Page of Wands is like this exciting new beginning Partly that you've been manifesting of your own accord, I think, and you may have done that consciously or you may have just subconsciously done it through changing your mindset to a more positive one. But it feels as though you are sowing the seeds of this brighter new future now. So some of you are getting in contact with people that you've always liked or who told you in the past that they liked you, but you weren't able to date them at the time. Some of you are just getting out on dating apps or just putting yourselves out there hoping that someone will come into your lives. And I do see for a lot of you there being this fresh new love opportunity in this month or shortly after. Definitely the sense of newness, of freshness. I am getting Capricorn energy from these cards as well as all of the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. And all of the fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So those might resonate with you. So let's get some oracle cards as well. As I said, I've got plenty of these. Okay. 
The Union of Hearts, number 28, a love connection defies explanation. So that feels quite similar to that Two of Cups card, that you are going closer um, to someone who is just really on the same wavelength as you, and you can't quite explain it. And then number 48, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those that you love and act on it. So trying to do something that is meaningful for the ones you love. And I don't feel like that's just romantic people. I feel like it could be friends, it could be family members as well. You're just trying to bring in more of an energy of kindness and love into your life in the day-to-day -day because you don't want to be like this person or you don't want to get back to that point of unhealthy love or unhealthy attachments. Sea of love. That's all about loving yourself. I really love this card. It's so beautiful. Just this very gentle energy. Loving yourself as much as you would love a friend. And I said this in a private reading recently, but treating yourself in the same way that you would treat a friend who was in the same position as you. Wow. The Nine of Hearts, which is the Nine of Cups. This mermaid just filling this vase with abundance, with love, with hopefulness, with happiness. Really love that image. And Guide of Wands, that's the Queen of Wands. And as you can see, it's the Pied Piper in this deck. So it feels like people are unusually attracted to you in this month. Or maybe you're rediscovering how attractive you actually are after having been worn down for a while by someone else. Maybe some of you are switching up your style a little bit trying to lose weight, trying to become more confident. That's the energy I get from this is confidence and people being attracted to you or drawn towards you, making contact with people from the past or new people. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So maybe that's also connected to that, becoming more confident because you have worked through that devil period. You've, you've gone through the sea of love as well. Lizard spirit, number 38, dream the world into being. So that's very similar to that three of wands card about sowing the seeds of your future manifestation also, Nine of Hearts as well is kind of about making a wish and then expecting it to come to fruition. So there's a very strong openness in your energy in October Group 2. It's like you're ready for these new experiences now. You're open to them and so they are coming towards you. Then we have Making a Choice in the Reverse, number 30. So that gives me a bit of a Two of Swords vibe, like maybe you're spoilt for choice and you don't know which choice is the best one. Maybe you're holding off making a decision because you're not sure exactly what you want yet. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. So some of you are looking for something long term. Some of you have just come out of a long term committed relationship. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And I definitely get that from this Guide of Wands card, like just ready to dance and sing and laugh and play. You want that lighthearted energy in your life again. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this could be related to this making a choice in the reverse. The fact that you don't want to make a choice straight away because you just want to enjoy having the option for a while. Nematona, sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So maybe you are doing love meditations in this month. Maybe you are just trying to stay grounded through meditation. Dragonfly. Number four, Vert or Tyler, value judgments, and that is an opfer or victim card. So you have been held a victim by your own 
value judgments, the way that you judge yourself or the way that you see yourself or the way that you think others see you, that has been holding you a victim. Imagine, number 20, definitely this strong energy of visualisation, manifestation. It feels like you're going to get a lot of options or a lot of offers in this month. Definitely seems as though you're talking to quite a few people, like you're ready for that now. Um, but you are still staying grounded. This isn't like you're throwing yourself into a rebound relationship or like you're sleeping around or anything. I'm not getting that energy from you because I'm getting a strong energy of self-respect and of working through past issues so that you have healthy relationships in the future. And I see a lot of fulfillment in this month, like you're finally on that right path and you're getting that fulfillment that you've always dreamed of. So let's just read the dragonfly card and then I'm going to do your charms and dice group two. So this says master of light, illusion and the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, this person sees clearly, is joyful and magical. When out of balance, they have a busy mind and they can't concentrate. So to bring themselves back into balance, it's important that they focus on the breath. And this is just so connected to this card about sacred space. So I think a lot of you are really making time to meditate or have some mindfulness practice. It may be yoga or just a breathing practice. Um, it may be prayer, quiet time, etc. Um, just to stay grounded and maybe also visualizing in that moment what it is that you're bringing towards you or just breathing in love and breathing out fear, for example, something as simple as that. So let's do your charms and dice now, group two. So quick disclaimer, if you don't like the sound of the charms being shuffled or if you have the volume turned up really loud or you're wearing headphones, you might just want to turn it down while I shuffle them. So group two, love life in October. Okay, so we've got the initial Y there, and I think that's the only letter that's popped out. So Y could be someone's name or surname, it could be a place, it could be a word. Don't worry if nothing comes to you, um, it could only be for a few people. We've got this beautiful love heart on the Sea of Love card, so that's really, really nice. Again, putting yourself first. I do feel as though you have had an unhappy or what seems like an unlucky long-term relationship and the passport charm indicates that there may have been travel recently or this person may have been from a different country or culture to you and that might have caused problems definitely listening to your inner wisdom in this month as that dragonfly card was saying the mind needs to be clear so that you can get those downloads you are a beautiful person and a lot of people are attracted to you as well got the perfume bottle there a lot of people being attracted to you in this month You've got an earth elemental and fairy energy coming through. Dragonfly is a symbol of fire elementals and also of um, the fairy kingdom. So strong connection to fairies, I think, um, just in general. You can see a fairy there as well. So I don't think it's just in this month. I think in general you have a strong connection to the fairy kingdom. Definitely magic is abounding in this month. This little guy is telling you that it's fine to be different. You don't need to try and fit in with other people's expectations or other people's wants and needs. You just focus on you in this month and only choose people who will treat you as you deserve to be treated. We've got the princess there. So that has landed on making a choice. Choose the person who treats you as you deserve to be treated. And interestingly, on that lizard spirit card, we've got a salamander. So we've got a fire elemental coming through. A lot of fire energy for a lot of you in this month. We've got a lot of worry on that guide of wands card. So maybe people 
are being attracted to you or are talking to you in this month and it kind of feels overwhelming or you worry that they're going to end up not liking you or that you're going to let yourself down and I think that's partly why you need to stay grounded and have this breathing practice is to not allow that anxiety to overwhelm you because remember you are in a process you know this is a process for you if you are leaving a difficult relationship or you are leaving a controlling or hurtful relationship or a, a difficult breakup then it's not like you just turn a switch and you're fine again you know it is a process of moving on from that so definitely putting your health first but I feel like this is related to healthy relationships coming your way for some of you there's a connection to Russia as well we've got a Russian doll but I feel like that also means some of you bottle up your feelings a lot and you don't really give them expression or you don't really tell people how you're feeling when I get that charm, I think of painting on that pretty face and having that, you know, happy face that you extend to the world when inside you feel very different. So I think it's important that you do talk to someone about your feelings or you do at least let someone know that you need more support or that you're maybe not doing as well as other people think you are. And we've got the love and relationships ball there as well. So there's definitely a strong theme of love in this month because sometimes they do these love predictions and it's like, oh yeah, you're just, you're getting over someone, but I don't see anyone coming your way. Or it's like, yeah, you're kind of getting ready to get into love. But again, it feels as though you're not connected to anyone right now. But this time there does seem to be a special person. Um, Actually a few people, it's not just one. It feels like there's multiple options for you in this month. So let's get your dice on top as well, group two. So we're rolling number six, that's the Voyager's dice. And that's interesting because you've got the Russian doll and you've also got the passport. So maybe some of you are talking to people who aren't from your country or are hoping to travel soon and that's a clue. And we're rolling three dice for you today. So... Group two. Hmm. Okay, we've got that buffering symbol. So I feel like that's related to the making a choice card because it's kind of landed a little bit on the wedding card, but mainly on this one. Um, so it feels like you are stalling making a decision or you're putting off making a choice because you've got multiple options. Um, and at the moment, you're just enjoying being in demand or you're just enjoying... Um, having that option so what I feel is that you're talking to a few different people or more than one person has expressed interest in you or is making you feel like they have an interest in you and you're just like you don't want to commit to either one of them just yet because you're just enjoying having that attention and having that time with two people so you're kind of stalling on that you've also got the sun charm there so that just makes me think of happiness manifestation again truth coming out um, optimism, confidence, solar plexus chakra as well, being very healed and functioning really well, very powerful. And the elephant is just telling you to keep moving forward, learn from any past mistakes, but don't feel bad about having made them because we are meant to make mistakes in order to learn from them. And just deal with any obstacles that might arise when you come to them. You know, the elephant doesn't worry about the tree that he's going to have to move out of his way three miles away he just enjoys the walk and then when he gets there he just lifts it out of the way when it's fallen into his path you know he doesn't think too much about the future so that's what I get from this is just take things as they come um, and learn from your past mistakes but don't dwell on them it's kind of that energy that I get from the elephant so I hope you enjoyed this reading group too now it's time for you to go and pick a gnome if you haven't already just go back to the start of the video if you have and you can remember which gnome or gnomes you chose, then just go and jump ahead to those readings. They're going to give you a few more cards and also your channeled messages. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this. Please do consider liking, subscribing and leaving me a comment below. I will try to reply. I try to reply to all of them and I do read all of them. So thank you to everyone who does that. And now I'm going to get started with group number three. Hi there group three, if you chose the Deviant Moon Tarot then this is your reading. So firstly let's look at the spell that I picked out for you today and then we will do your cards. We've got plenty of oracle cards as well when I've done the tarot and then I will be putting charms and dice on top like we always do. So if you're new to the channel make sure you stick around and get your full reading because when I'm done with the cards we'll be putting extra bits on top to give you a really full reading. 
so the spell that you've got today is just called Love Charm, so quite a generic name, um, but it says perform this charm at any time to beguile the partner of your dreams. So ingredients that you need are a pink candle, a mirror, a pen and a piece of pink paper, a photograph of yourself and a pink ribbon. And then it says, in a dimly lit room, light the candle so that its glow surrounds your reflection in the mirror. Concentrate your thoughts on your good qualities and let your wish to start a new relationship. Breathe deeply and as you exhale, let your fears and doubts leave your body. After a few moments, draw the image of your new love on the pink paper. So the kind of person that you are wanting to manifest or bring towards you. Place this picture that you've drawn beside your photograph and with the pink ribbon, lace the two together so that they both lie flat. Draw them together with the ribbon and with your mind. Hold the joined pictures in front of the mirror so that the image is reflected back and chant, my inner doubts are now set free, my heart is open, come to me, let the future joy unfold, happiness and love untold. Blow out the candle and watch for any images in the mirror. You may see a different person from the one that you imagine. Fold the pictures together and place them in a safe place. So that is the love spell for this month. If you want to use that, some of you might enjoy casting that. So let's see what I can get from the cards now. Group three, October love predictions. So we've got the star, which is a nice, a nice way to start off your reading. Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and Seven of Swords. Okay, I feel like a lot of you have actually been putting a lot of pressure on yourselves when it comes to love, or you've been worried that you're not finding someone because your life is just really busy right now, or you just don't have the energy or the mental space to deal with someone coming into your life right now. I feel like some of you have also been betrayed or hurt in the past and therefore you are like this guy, he's worried about um, giving out away his money, but to me money is like resources, so I equate it with money. Um, sorry, I equate it with, with energy. I equate money with money um, when I'm doing tarot. So it's like he's holding it close to his chest, like he's protecting his heart space. He's like, he doesn't want to give away this energy, which is so important to him the money is what he truly loves so it's almost like you're scared to let someone in because you don't want to be hurt again or you don't want to be betrayed by someone because I've definitely got that energy of past betrayal in the seven of swords or I feel like some of you have been in connections with people where they never fully agreed whether you were in a relationship or not or they were in a relationship themselves and they kept telling you yeah we'll get together yeah don't worry or hinting that they liked you and then it just all went wrong for you or they kind of dangled that carrot and then took it away. That's the energy I get there is that some of you have been feels like deceived or led to believe something that wasn't true or had the wool pulled over your eyes in relationships in the past and you just don't want that to happen again, understandably. So we have this energy of healing with the star which is all about renewed optimism, renewed faith so I'm interested to see what oracle cards pop out because I'm kind of seeing this a lot of being like past energy that you're still holding on to and it's making you fearful, but also this energy of fresh new beginnings with the star there. I'm also seeing Aquarius energy coming through so far in the reading. Be willing to express love. Number six, express love to receive love. And that is exactly what I was talking about. It feels like some of you are afraid to tell someone you like them in case they reject you or in case, you know, it ends up like previous relationships did or you're afraid to get committed with someone because you're worried about being um, being abandoned or being played again. So that's that energy that I get is that you're afraid of expressing love. So maybe start small, like this card is suggesting like this cute little mermaid that this person is taking care of. Start small by expressing love with the people around you and build up to feeling more comfortable to expressing it with potential romantic partners. Creativity. 
okay, creative solutions to problems. Maybe you could tell someone how you feel about them through a song or through some kind of creative art. Maybe you're also go growing closer to someone who shares a similar passion or hobby to you, similar interest to you. Three of Swords. Definitely get that feeling that a lot of you have been hurt. But this dove is bringing like the promise of new peace or the promise of new healing, new forgiveness to this girl. So I don't feel like you're going to get betrayed in this month. I don't think it's like a future prediction. I feel as though it's something that has already happened. Because then here we've got Seven of Crystals, Seven of Pentacles, this energy of waiting in the cold, um, the cold dark times. Like you don't want to go outside. You don't want to put that energy out there and seven of hearts as well the seven of cups which in this deck is really strongly about healing as you can see this mermaid who's kind of meditating in this one person temple she's thinking about love or she's thinking about healing this heart space so I do see you as having spent a while by yourself trying to move on from a past connection I see you as having put a lot of energy into that and trying to move on from that Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Definitely have faith that future partners will not treat you in the way that past partners did. Um, kind of get an energy there of not letting your past keep you trapped. Chameleon spirit number 14, act as if. I really like that card. Act as if your future partner is already with you or act as if you are fully healed already or act as if this next person is the person of your dreams. You know, try to act as if you're in right alignment with that dream life that you're trying to bring in for you. What would you make? What decisions would you make differently? How would you dress differently? How would you carry yourself differently? All of this, it's really tied in with manifestation. encouragement number 54 definitely feel like some of you have some good friends or a really close family member who is going to be helping you in this month giving you that little nudge that you need to move forward forgiving and learning absolutely as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments Wow. So I do feel that some of you are going to be talking to new people in this month or that you are going to be possibly even talking to the past person. If this is a relationship that you're currently in, you haven't broken up yet. I feel like you're possibly working things out with that person, but obviously only you will know if that sounds like that would happen. You know, for some people there has been abuse or there's been um, betrayal, controlling um, behavior, and that needs to be like a clean break. But you will know if it's been like an argument or not making enough time for each other, etc. Whether this is something that can be forgiven and moved on from. Ma'at, fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Okay, so this feeling of a win-win outcome. Everyone getting what they deserve. Kind of get a Libra vibe from that card as well. Buffalo. Okay. I will need to read from that guidebook. But let me just get a couple more cards. Number 37, Sexualität. Sexuality. And that is a GABA or gift card. So maybe you are starting to feel more comfortable in your sexuality or may that might be the area where you've been holding back because you have issues regarding body image possibly or self-confidence in that area. Maybe some of you have been abused in the past or coerced in some way and so you feel kind of not 100% comfortable with that. Then we have Y, number 31. 
and happy happy number 26 okay I kind of get from these two cards like why are you not happy or what could you do differently to ensure that you are happy like that's a little bit of the vibe that I get from those cards Maybe sexuality is also to do with the creativity card, like a form of self-expression, feeling more comfortable in that energy. I also just want to look at the encouragement card as well, because that's not one that I've pulled very often. So let's just flick through the guidebook and see what that can tell us. Encouragement. It's actually the last card in the deck. It says you're receiving a nudge in the right direction. This card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. That was what I was talking about, wasn't it? Acting as if your dream life is already here. New things are out there to be explored and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going. I love that. I love that. The star is also telling you that you are on the right path, that you're making the right, taking the right steps towards what you need to be doing. Let me just find the buffalo card. That's an earth energy card. So buffalo says grounded yet heavenly, practical yet spiritual. The hooves of the mighty buffalo are grounded in the earth, but its heart and mind rise toward heaven. The buffalo sees challenge, hardship, or a bump in the road as an opportunity for upliftment. Therefore, the buffalo does not fear death, illness, or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look to the road ahead, trusting every turn. May we all experience this elusive but life-changing bliss from time to time, and may we allow this card to remind us that life is a precious gift. When in balance, this person is trusting and has a pure presence. When out of balance, they are restless or they lack gratitude. To bring themselves back into balance, they should engage in prayer or bhakti. So, definitely get this feeling of you getting back out there, feeling stronger, feeling more empowered after a difficult time. But there is still some hesitance there. There is still some reluctance because you don't want to get hurt again or you don't want to um, put all your eggs in one basket, perhaps, with one particular choice but I definitely get this energy of, of forgiveness and your energy starting to <clears throat> sorry balance out a little bit more in this month and definitely with the seven of pentacles it is like a slow process but I do see you making great strides in this month for those of you that have been hurt or have just come out of a difficult relationship or a tough breakup so let's get your charms on top group three and then we'll do your dice just a quick disclaimer before I shuffle if you don't like the sound of the charms or if you are wearing headphones or have the volume turned up really loud, you might just want to turn it down while I shuffle because they can be a little bit loud. So group three, love life in October. Okay, so we've got the letters T and R. So T and R, they could be people's names, they could be words, places, etc. Don't worry if nothing comes to you from those letters, it might only be for a few people, but those are your letters for this month. Then we've got growth, so you are experiencing significant growth. You have pulled away from someone or you are afraid of meeting again with someone who is like a draining energy someone who is going to just take what you give them and hold on tight to it and not give you anything back or who is just a drain in general so definitely get that from the vampire teeth that that's why you're protecting yourself but good news is on its way that little bell there good things are coming towards you and you are a very attractive person people are going to be attracted to you in this month and that might be what scares you is getting back into that energy again however try and put yourself in someone else's shoes we've got that charm there about walking a mile in someone else's shoes so don't just immediately think that someone might be untrustworthy or that they might be out to hurt you because you don't know them yet or you've not given them that chance yet so I feel like giving people a chance is important in this month giving new people a chance 
We've got passion and excitement there with the chilies. It's also strongly sexual charm. So there could be some fun in that area of your life or just getting a little bit more confidence there. You've also got a good friend helping you out, giving you some support or some encouragement, perhaps. Taking a risk on being happy. Dare to be happy. Definitely needing more support as well, because we've got the birdhouse and this little bird is calling out for his friends. So I feel like it's important that you surround yourself with people who can give you that support. You've got Ganesha there. So the Hindu god of wisdom, healing, overcoming obstacles etc. He is helping you in this month, as is the Marigan, Celtic goddess of war and omens, battles, etc. She's helping you as well. Don't know if any of you work with those deities already, but those are coming through for you. This also indicates that you might know something is about to happen before it happens. Like you might get a premonition of something in this month related to your love life. And then we've got the Russian doll. So for some of you, there are connections to Russia um, with yourself or with your love life. For some of you, that's just talking about beware of, be aware of bottling up your energies. Don't do that. Um, don't bottle up the way that you're feeling and not tell others that you're going through a tough time. Don't just paint on the strong face that you want to show to the world. Let, make sure that there is at least one person that you're telling about how you're feeling or that you're confiding in. Um, even if you only tell certain bits to certain people, like, and spread it out across a few people, you know, make sure you have at least one person that you can confide in, who, who you can trust to give you that support. So let's look at your dice as well. Okay, number four, that's the Looney Tunes dice. These ones. Okay, and we're rolling seven dice for you today. Okay. Okay, so first of all, the old telephone there, communication is important. You do need to talk to someone or you do need to kind of offload on someone in this month. There is someone who is going to have your back in that terms. I also get the the person who is completely flawed and the person who is frazzled. So energy wise, you may be feeling a little bit low in this month or you may have just felt as though having exited a certain relationship or situationship, you feel like what do I even begin to do now? Like that kind of rock bottom, fresh start kind of energy. But happily, the only way is up. You know, this box says this way up. So the only way from here is up. Definitely get this fresh new beginning from the catapult. Like you're starting off that, that new process of something. And the pie is about fulfillment, feeling nourished. And that's landed on the sexuality card. So maybe you are finally being true to your sexuality when you weren't able to do that in the past. Or maybe you are just determined now to do what feels good for you and not to try and please anyone else. You know, you're just trying to focus on what you want um, in relationships and sexually as well. And then we've got the fireplace, home and hearth, cozy having that little sanctuary that you can return to. That's also about home and family, household security. So that's important as well. Having your home as that special place that you can just go back to and de-stress, recharge, etc. Just breathe. That's going to be your safe place or your sacred place in this month. So home is very important. So I hope you enjoyed this group three. Now you can go and pick your gnome. Just go back to the start of the video. If you haven't chosen a gnome or if you have and you remember which one you chose, then you can just skip ahead to the gnome readings now because they're going to give you a few extra cards and also your um, channel messages. So thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would like, subscribe and comment below. I do try to reply to all of your comments and I do read all of them. Um, so I would love it if you would do that. But now I'm going to get started with the gnome messages. Hey there, if you chose Gizmond as your gnome, gnome A, then this is um, the second part of your reading, a few extra messages. So I'm going to open the gnome bag and we'll start shuffling. 
so we're using the Tower of the Gnomes as always. So I'm just going to see what channel messages come through firstly while I just play around with these and then I'll shuffle some cards as well. So Gizman's Group. I am hearing the word betrayal so I feel like some of you have been through a situation recently where you've been deceived or where you have been let down by someone because I'm getting that kind of sickening like disappointed feeling it's not even so much that you feel hurt it's like first of all you just feel so let down by someone like how could you do this to me is kind of the energy that I'm hearing I'm also hearing why didn't you tell me so I think some of you have found out something that someone was trying to keep from you I'm also hearing the name David And the letter V is coming through quite strongly. So possibly names beginning with V or places beginning with V. And I'm hearing as well, let me go. Like someone wanting to leave a relationship or kind of asking for permission to walk away from a relationship or from an argument. Let's see what cards we get. Okay, so you have got Imperator, the Emperor, Aries energy there, uh, Dvojka Magnet, the Two of Pentacles, Abiedinienia, Union, and also Tuz Magnet, the Ace of Pentacles, Business, Business. Okay, and I also want a Whispering Woods Oracle card. Teach. Inspire others and let nature be your greatest teacher. Okay, so I think some of you have been dealing with especially a masculine energy who wanted to be in control of a situation or who was making all of the decisions with regards to your relationship with them. So for some of you, you may have been dating this person, you may have actually been in a relationship with them, or you may have just had a crush on them and they kind of knew about it, so they were trying to move it down the direction that they wanted to. I'm just getting this energy of there being a masculine energy who was in control. Um, and then the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles makes me think that there's something new coming in here. And it could be with this person, but I'm kind of getting a fresh energy from this, like a, a freshness. And with the union there, it does feel as though you are either parting ways with this person and choosing to forgive and forget or forgive and move on at least or this is signifying a new union with someone else someone who is kind of on the same wavelength as you or who is prepared to treat you in a way that is much more equal because they do get a sense of there being an unbalanced energy with regards to this previous person I don't feel like the whole betrayal thing is something fresh coming in I feel like you've already been through that it could have actually been a while ago and you're still just holding on to it but there is this new fresh beginning energy that I'm getting from those cards and then teach is interesting I feel like this is saying be a role model to others based on the way that you behave so maybe you have a younger sibling or a good friend who is less experienced than you in relationships and you don't actually know it but they're kind of taking you as their lead so they are watching the way that you behave in relationships or the way that you react to things that people say the way that people treat you and this is saying for them be a good role model here for them take the moral high ground for them have strong healthy boundaries with others because that will teach them the best way to behave for some of you it may even be reference to your own children like the way that your children see you being treated by others or see the way that you behave in romantic relationships is going to really mold the way that they behave in the future so for them be the good role model that's kind of what I'm seeing is like the sense of responsibility here as you go into this new phase because I feel like there is a new committed relationship in the future there and this may not come in in October itself but I feel like it's going to be quite soon so next few months um, and I feel as though a lot of you already know the person that this is going to be with and it feels like they may be connected to you through work or through your study that's just what I'm getting from these energies today 
So I hope you enjoyed this. Gizman's group, I hope you really enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Um, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe, comment below as well. I do try to reply to all of your comments. Um, if you'd like to help out the channel in any way, thank you so much for your kindness. I have an Amazon wish list for new tarot and oracle decks. I have a PayPal link for tips and donations. All of these are linked in the description box. I've also got um, an Etsy page where I offer private readings and angel healing sessions. And of course, I've got my Patreon page as well. And you can choose how much you join at, what level you join at, and then you get certain rewards back um, as a result of that. So I've got all of those things. There's also an Instagram page now for the channel where I'm trying to do daily cards and also like a weekly pick a card thing. So go and check that out as well if you're interested. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great month ahead and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey there everyone who chose Gunfald or Gnome B as your gnome. This is the second part of your reading and we're going to get you some extra messages and your channeled messages as well. So I'll just open up this gnome bag and take out the gnome tarot. And I'm just going to shuffle these while I get your channeled messages because I like to kind of um, do that while I get downloads. Okay, immediately I'm hearing renewal. Gunfald's group and playful as well, like lighthearted. So it feels as though you're getting back out there, spending time with friends. This may actually be a separate message, like you're renewing something to do with your love life or your relationship and equally you are spending time with friends, you're having more laughter in your life. Um, it just feels like a lovely playful energy, like three of cups energy. having fun, like quite quite carefree in many ways. So I think you can expect some level of socializing this month where you're just focusing on catching up. You're not worried about, you know, talking about what you've been through or future plans or anything. You just want to have fun with those people that really care about you. I'm hearing a name like Tyler. So like a name beginning with T that ends in like ER or OR, like Tyler or Trevor. Um, that kind of name so if that fits for you even if it's not what I've said beginning with T and ending with E-R or O-R then that's a message for you and I'm also being shown like a mountain so I think some of you have really had it tough recently you've really been trying to overcome a major obstacle or you felt like you're just climbing an uphill struggle you know you're going through an uphill battle and I feel as though that's kind of ending for you in this month it's like you're reaching the summit and you're feeling finally like you've achieved something or like you finally can put something behind you because it's all downhill from here in a good way you know like it's just it's easy to keep walking now because there's not that pressure or that difficulty anymore so let's get your gnome tarot cards Okay, so you have got uh, Divyatka Mich, or Divyatka Miche, the Nine of Swords, and that says Duel, Jewel, Troika Bulov, Three of Wands, Podkatovka, Preparation, and Semyorka Menyet, the Seven of Pentacles, Sakrovisha, Treasure. Okay, so definitely this energy of trying to manifest something new. Um, but I also get a little bit of worry here. I think some of you have been worried that something's been taking too long to manifest and therefore in your mind isn't coming. Um, but I think a lot of you as well are just kind of having this inner conflict because I, I don't feel like a lot of you are arguing with another person or like two people are fighting over you. I get this energy of there being a push and pull within yourself. Like you're fighting against yourself sometimes or like there is an element of self-sabotage here. I think in this month you're realizing what really matters to you, what's really important for you. And it's like you're putting in the work now so that when the time comes for you to be fully committed in a relationship, you're ready. You know, that there's nothing that's gonna hinder you from being happy in that way. Woods, 
Be like the woods, calm, soothing, mysterious, and full of life. Yes, just this energy of like biding your time. I really feel like you're doing a lot of inner work um, or like you're taking care of other things like actual work, um, study perhaps, because you want to get things like that out of the way before you're fully ready to give your undivided attention to your love life. Um, I get a strong earth energy from this particular group, but also if we're going on like Chinese elements, obviously wood in the Chinese elements is separate to the earth element. So that could also resonate with you. Um, but this is just what I'm seeing. It's that there's a lot going on beneath the surface. And it's interesting that this was talking about like, you know, the calm woods on the surface. And then there's a lot going on inside when I thought that this was an inner conflict rather than an outer one. So I do feel as though there's a lot of inner development going on for you in this month, group two. Um, but that's what I'm feeling is that you're preparing for the next step or you're getting ready for that person to come into your life so that you're 100% ready for them. Um, you've just worried that they're taking too long or that you have put other things as a priority, like study or work, for example, before love. And you're worried that you've maybe wasted time doing that. But I don't think that's the case at all. I do feel like you are getting back onto an even keel now and like you're you're soon going to be very ready to enjoy that relationship that you've always hoped for or that you've been trying to manifest. So hopefully this was encouraging. Gunfeld's group, I really hope you enjoyed this whole video and that you're looking forward to October. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I would really love it if you would like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and comment below as well. I do try to reply to all of your comments and I read all of them as well. So I always love connecting with you down there. Um, also, if you would like to help out the channel in any way, I've got a list of links in the description box as to how you can do that. So I've got my Amazon wish list for tarot and oracle decks. Thank you to everyone who's donated, by the way. Um, I can't say it enough. And I've also got a PayPal link for tips and donations. I have got my Etsy page, of course, where I offer angel healing sessions and private readings as well. Of course, I've got my Patreon page. You can join on whatever level you feel comfortable with and then you get rewards every month as a result of that. And also there's now an Instagram page for the channel as well. So if you're on Instagram and you want to get daily cards or you want the weekly pick a card that I've been trying to do um, each week, then go ahead, check us out. All of those links are available in the description box. But have a great week ahead, Gunfeld's group, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there everyone who chose Gaia or Gnome C as their gnome. This is the second part of your reading and we're going to get some extra cards and also some channeled messages as well. So let's look inside the gnome bag and get out the Tower of the Gnomes. And I'm just going to kind of shuffle this while I get your channeled messages because that's how I best like to get downloads. It just kind of keeps me focused and centered. So Gaia's group, let's see what we're getting for you. Okay, straight away, I'm getting the color green and Archangel Raphael. So I feel like a lot of you have been working with Archangel Raphael, or if not, this is your ticket to work with him in this month. Maybe healing that needs to be going on for some of you with regards to relationships and the heart chakra. Because I'm strongly getting that color green now. And now I'm also seeing Paul the Venetian. So yes, definitely some heart chakra healing or heart chakra like renewed vibrancy that needs to be going on for this group. I'm seeing a name beginning with O. And I want to say Oliver, but I also want to say Oswald. So it might be something a little bit out there. But I am also getting Nikhil, um, Nicholas, Nikolai, these kinds of names that start with Nick. So take that on board as well if any of those resonate with you. I just keep hearing the word leisure as well. So I feel like that's also your cue to relax a little bit in this month. Take the pressure off a little bit with regards to love. Try to relax your mind as much as possible. Because I think some of you have been really giving yourselves a hard time about love, not being in a relationship yet or not working hard enough on your current relationship. And I just feel like it's not necessary because you just need to take that little bit of a step back and just allow yourself to take the pressure off. Um, just for a little while.
getting the color orange as well so that would be sacral chakra also kind of to do with health and vibrancy and I'm hearing don't look back so I don't know if some of you have had um, possible thoughts about exes or thoughts about past mistakes um, but I am hearing that you shouldn't be looking back at that you shouldn't be um, tempted to get back into that energy or wondering if you could have done something differently the past is in the past so let's leave it there so let's get your cards on top now I'm also hearing Archangel Michael now as well so strong Archangel energy for this group So we've got Shastyorka Chash, the Six of Cups, and it says Svadba, Wedding. Then we have Strashni Sud, Judgment. And Chitvyorka Manyet, the Four of Pentacles, Suyata. And Suyata is like making a big fuss about nothing, essentially. So I feel like some of you have really been feeling ungrounded or feeling very restless in your energy recently and these cards are trying to tell you just to take a step back from that as I said before relaxing because this just feels very ungrounded I feel like a lot of you have been quite anxious recently quite nervous when it comes to love or really worrying and making a mountain out of a molehill um, when it comes to issues relating to romantic relationships I definitely get this energy that some of you have been nostalgic about an ex or about a past relationship um, maybe wondering if you should message an ex or if you should give someone another chance I feel as though that's not the right decision because you've got that judgment card and it just feels like it's not the right thing to do or it's not the right um, choice for you at this time but I definitely get that some of you are really wanting to be in committed relationships or you are in committed relationships and that's why it's causing a problem that you're thinking about someone from the past or that someone from the past has come back for you but I feel as though you're making it into a bigger issue than it needs to be for yourself music there is a melody to be heard in the deepest parts of the woods if only we listen okay so maybe listening to music will help you calm your mind I kind of feel like it's saying meditate with natural like woodland sounds so especially if you are an earth sign or if you have earth strongly in your chart, um, that music, that natural sound of the woods and of birds tweeting and leaves rustling and twigs snapping, that kind of thing is really going to help you to stay grounded when you feel very up in the air and very restless or confused in this month. Um, because I do feel as though someone, you've had like a run in with someone from the past or you've just come across them on social media or you've started thinking about them because you had a dream about them. It's like all very unexpected and it's just making you feel confused. Um, and for some of you, it's more obvious, like you have just broken up with someone recently and you're wondering if you should message them and apologize or ask to get back together. I just don't feel like it's the right choice for you. Um, it's not coming through necessarily in the cards, but it's just what I'm feeling intuitively that it's not the right thing. So just take that on board. Obviously, whatever you choose to do, that's your choice. Um, but that's just the kind of energy that I'm feeling from these cards. So staying grounded will help you to breathe out that energy in a very healthy way. So I hope you enjoyed this Gaia's group. Thank you so much for watching today and, and spending your time with me here. I really hope you enjoyed the whole video, not just the gnome part. Um, but I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment below if you haven't already because I do love to read all your comments. I do try to reply to them all as well so that you know that I've heard you and that I am listening to what you're saying, that I am here to to say thanks for commenting. Um, also, if you would like to help out the channel in any way, I have links in the description as to how you can do that. So if you would like to send a new deck to the channel, Thank you so much for your generosity. I have an Amazon wish list for tarot and oracle decks that you might want to look over and see if anything catches your eye. I've also got um, a PayPal link for tips and donations. Thank you to everyone who has donated because it really makes my day and it helps me to keep making these videos. I've also got a Patreon page, of course. You can join at whatever level feels comfortable for you and then you get 
rewards back based on which tier you're in. I have an Etsy page where I offer angel healing sessions and private readings. And I've also now got an Instagram page for the channel as well. So if you are on Instagram and you want to check out daily cards and try to do weekly picker cards as well on there, then you might want to go and see what I'm posting over there. But again, thank you so much for being here and for listening to all of this and have a great month ahead, Gaia's group. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there, if you chose Gjord as your gnome, gnome D, then this is the second part of your reading. I'm going to be giving you a few extra cards and also your channeled messages. So let's just get the gnome tarot out of this bag. And I'm just going to shuffle these while I get your downloads because that's the way that I most like to kind of get your channeled messages. Keeps me focused. So I'm instantly hearing a name like Lucian or Lucifer, actually. Like it could be Lucy, but I feel like it's male. So I just want to keep saying like Lucius, Lucian, Lucifer. I don't know if there's any other denominations of that. Maybe there is a name from another culture that's not spelt the same way, but that sounds like that. So maybe comment below if you know of something like that, that might be helpful for someone. But I'm hearing that kind of name coming through. And I'm also seeing like a fish. So I don't know if that's representing Pisces energy or just water elemental generally. To me, fish also means go with the flow. Like don't fight against changes that are happening. And I'm seeing a long path kind of stretched out in front of me. So it feels as though you are on the right path. You're just taking your time getting to where you need to be. Or you're aware that things don't happen overnight. You know, it's not going to change your situation. Whatever situation that is, it's not going to completely change overnight. It's like a long um, path where you're gradually going to feel more progress or you're gradually going to feel more confident or you're going to have more of the life that you want. But you are kind of on a path. But I am seeing the sunshine in front of you. So it feels like you're walking into this better life. It's lighting up all of the grass around the edges of the path. It's almost like a fairy tale path, you know, where it's like green grass on either side and it's like a yellow um, or very pale sandy road. That's what I'm seeing. I'm also getting the color red. Quite strong fool energy as well for this, this pile. Trying to see if anything else is coming through. Yeah, dawning of a new day is what I'm hearing. So you have been through this dark time of basically the night time when it comes to your relationships and now it is the dawning of a new day. So you're not quite into the full sunlit experience yet, but that dawn is starting to creep in and you are starting to feel better. I'm hearing healing an X for a lot of you as well. So some of you are moving on from past connections. You are leaving people behind who you realize no longer deserve to have a place in your life. You are healing from past hurts. I'm seeing you kind of licking your wounds. So definitely taking that step back, making that clean break with someone and just choosing to walk ahead into this new beginning. I'm also seeing a zebra. So that may be a spirit animal for you. I'm not sure exactly what zebra means as a spirit animal or just as symbolism, but maybe someone will comment that below as well. So let's get your cards. So Gjord's group, Love Life in October. Okay. We've got here Thuz Magnet, the Ace of Pentacles, and it says Business business. So definitely that sense of the new beginning coming through immediately. And then we've got Simur Kachash, the Seven of Cups, Pravda, truth, hearing the truth from someone or living your truth. And then we have Papiesa, the High Priestess. 
So very in touch with your intuition as well. And again, I get that patient energy from the high priestess. You know that changes aren't going to happen overnight or you know that this whole situation is not going to resolve itself for you overnight. You're not going to feel completely healed overnight, but you know that you are on that journey. You are on that path. And the seven of cups makes me feel like you are opening into this new beginning where there's endless possibilities for you. There's a lot of different options out there for you now. So you are hearing the truth from someone or you are telling someone how you really feel or how they made you feel when they did a certain thing. And you're just choosing to be true to you as you move into this new experience for you. It's like you're not going to change yourself anymore for anyone else. So you're not going to try and please someone else by being someone who you're not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I want this card, time. Embrace in the dew drops of life before they disappear with the morning sun. And that's so crazy because I was just getting that energy of the morning sun, like the sun creeping in immediately after the darkness. And then you have growth. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. So definitely that energy of newness. And then we also have hope. An idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest and incredibly path. <laughs> when I was seeing that path for you, you got the path and the morning sun. This is crazy. Wonder on the path less traveled. What you find might surprise you. I mean, oh my goodness. So time. Time is telling you again, you know that it won't happen immediately. It's got to take some time for this growth to happen. You know, the, the acorn doesn't become an oak tree overnight. It's taken a long time for it to get to that point. Um, but before long, I think you will start to see very clear progression. You will start to see very clear changes in the way that you're feeling. There's a lot of hope from this. And again, that connection to the acorn or the seedling coming through. So you've got two um, messages there about that. And then, of course, path. You are on the right path. You are on this path to a beautiful new future. So I really hope you enjoyed this Gjord's group. I hope it resonated with you. The whole video, not just this little bit, but I love that we got so much synchronicity in these cards. Thank you so much for joining me today and spending your time with me. I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and comment below. I would really love to hear how this resonated with you. And I do try to reply to all your comments as well because I love reading them all and hearing about all your situations and what you're going through and what you thought of the video. So do take the time to do that if you have time. Um, also, if you'd like to help out the channel in any way, I've got links in the description as to how you can do that. So I've got an Amazon wish list for tarot and oracle decks. If you're feeling really generous and you'd like to get something for the channel, I would really appreciate that. Um, and I've also got an, a PayPal link for tips and donations. So thank you to everyone who has donated to the channel because it helps me to get cool new things. And it also means that I can continue to do these videos for you. Um, I've also got an Etsy page where I offer angel healing sessions and private readings, a Patreon page, of course, which I've mentioned earlier, and that you can join on any level that you feel comfortable with and you get rewards depending on which level you've joined at, so different rewards um, depending on your tier. And finally, I have also recently started an Instagram page for the channel. So if you're on Instagram and you want to check out the daily cards that I've been posting, and I'm also trying to do weekly pick a cards as well, if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, then definitely go and check that out as well. As I said, all of the links are in the description box, as they always are in every video that I upload. So thank you so much for watching again. Have a great month ahead, Gjord's group, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care.